Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I am your melanated hostess and your melanated queen. Y'all, I just wanted to come on here just to send some positive energy to you all today. I don't know what you may be facing, what you may be battling. I just want to say continue to walk in your divinity, stay winning. It is a very challenging life, very challenging times that we're facing right now. People are turning their backs on one another. People are very selfish. Um, the economy is going through a massive change. Uh, an influx of negative energy has been taking place over the course of this year. With all of that, please remain steadfast, stay strong, um, hold on to whatever it is that keeps you in positive energy. Don't let the devil drain you. The, these demonic energies, these demonic spirits, block them out of your lives. You all remember the video I talked about about picking out the weeds when I was working on the yard. I pulled the weeds up by the root get rid of the root cause of whatever is causing you a distraction from satisfying your goals i don't care if it's a job let it go these jobs mean just that just over broke they don't care about you and basically when you have a job you're pimping yourself out just enough so that you do not work on your dreams Sorry, y'all have to check on the cats. They're in the yard, but there's a little burrow that um, he just tried to escape out of the fence. And I don't want him to get too far away because from my understanding, there are coyotes that lurk around in the neighborhood and people's um, animals have been coming up missing out here. Outside of that, there are these large birds that can come down and swoop your animals up. I don't know if you've heard of that. They've even been known to carry off little miniature babies and toddlers <laughs> miles and miles away. So you might want to put like a... Um, one of those tracking devices, what do they call them, the air tag trackers on your pet around their collar or leash. If you have one, they don't have a collar or leash on. So I try to keep tabs on them, even though I have cameras all around the house and in the yard. I still have to watch them because cats are very sneaky, as you may know. Um, what it is like to, of having cats, what is it like to have cats? Basically, they just change the energy in the house a little bit. Um, people don't like cats usually because they say they're sneaky, which they can't can be they're just quiet at times they don't really meow or they don't really talk unless they're talking to humans that's one thing I did not know I just learned about that um, not too long ago would you hear cats meow they meow to communicate with humans they're not doing that to catch the attention of other animals okay and I don't know if I told you about photos of her she was the cutest little kitten she was in the bushes I heard this noise I didn't know what it was and I kept listening and listening. I was actually on the phone and it wasn't a bird and it was just kept crying out, crying out. And I saw they were so mean and they were kind of rude and obnoxious. Nobody really wanted to help. I was walking, so I went back and got my car. I didn't have any cow milk because I don't drink cow milk, but I had oat milk. So I'm trying to give her something for nutrition. I got a little bowl with the cow milk and I brought it out there and I told the neighbors across from the from the uh, bushes because they were just coming home from vacation and I guess he needed to get by and so he tried to maneuver into his driveway so I moved my car out of the way so basically when they found out the reason I was out there was because of a kitten I asked if they had milk all of a sudden all of their children this Caucasian family their kids come outside Oh, did you say kitten? Oh, we have three cats and all of this stuff. And then they're all interested. The next thing I know, one of the little girls is out there with a cell phone and she's taking pictures with her sister holding the kitten. And she was like, mommy, can we keep it? And really, I was going to bring that kitten home with me. Honestly, I was, but something inside of me just, I thought about it and I said, my heart wanted to keep the kitten, but I already have two cats and that's my limit. Um... These two cats, it's a male and female. They don't really mesh too well together or get along. But 
for the most part, animals are going to mix and mingle because they're the only two animals alike in the house. So out of the goodness and kindness of my heart, I let the little girl take the kitten in with her family. And so I gave her my card. I said, if anything changes, just give me a call. Y'all, I have to go because they are trying to escape out of the fence again. I'll talk to y'all later. Until next time, you all stay blessed.